So let's start with the micro theory of anomie, which falls under strain theory. So this looks at how people adopt the goals of society, but they lack the means to obtain them. So if you lack the means, you want the goals, but you lack the means, then the alternative is to turn to crime. So you might have someone who wants material wealth. They want a nice home. They want cars. They a nice car. They want nice clothing, jewelry, the ability to take a nice vacation, so forth and so on. But they don't have access to conventional means or they reject the conventional way of achieving a goal, like going to school and uh, getting a job and so forth and so on. So they come up with an alternative way to achieve a goal. So they engage in what's called the criminal enterprise or the underground um, economy. So competition for success creates conflict and crime. So if you look at anomie theory, it suggests that social conditions, not a person's personality, is the reason why people turn to crime. So it's not that someone is inherently criminal or that they just have a proclivity towards breaking the law. No, it's just that they want the material things in life, and if they don't feel that they have access to acceptable means, then they come up with alternative ways to achieve the same goal. So if we look at the five responses or adaptations to our material goals and socially acceptable means, we're going back into Robert Merton's strain theory. So there are four different adapt, adaptation, adapt, adaptations, I can't say that word today, adaptations or ways to achieve the goal or response to the socially acceptable goals and the socially acceptable means. And remember, the goals are material. So the first is conformity. The conformist, again, is someone who accepts the goals and they participate in the socially acceptable means. Then there's innovation. Now, innovation fits anomie. This is someone who accepts the goals, but they reject the conventional means and they come up with a deviant way. So they, they participate in deviant means like selling drugs, participating in the sex industry, robbing, stealing, killing, conning, whatever the case may be. But their way of achieving the material goal is through deviance. And then there's ritualism. The ritualist is someone who rejects the goals, but they ritualistically participate in the means. So this might be someone who works all the time, saves all their money, never spends it on anything material, or they go to school and they get one degree after another, but they never really use it for anything. That's the ritualist. Then there's a retreatist. The retreatist rejects both the goals and the means and they drop out of society. So this might be someone who's a recluse, someone who gives up all of their material wealth and they stop working and they just go off and live in the wilderness or someone who just stays in their home. They never leave it. Maybe they subsist off of uh, social security or some type of disability, but they've just kind of copped out and just dropped out of participating in society. Now, the final adaptation is rebellion, a rejection of both the goals and the means and going a step further to overthrow the entire society and bring in a new world order. So those are the five adaptations that fall under anomie theory.